So the one thing we haven't tried here in Mombasa is the Swahili pizza. So that's basically just minced meat with some eggs, mixed in some dough, and they put it on the tawa. It looks phenomenal. Looks like a pizza. Jambo and welcome to Mombasa, Kenya, a vibrant city located along the Indian Ocean on the country's eastern coast. Mombasa is the second largest city and metropolitan area in Kenya and has been a significant center for trade for many centuries. The street food in Mombasa is an essential aspect of the local culture, reflecting influences from both India and the countries like Oman in the Arabian Peninsula. You'll find these influences everywhere in the cuisine in Mombasa. And that's what we're here to explore today. Oh, and this heat? So refreshing. You need a lot of this every day. Every day, man. Yeah. Come with me and my guide Sam from Kumbu Kumbu Tours as we embark on a journey to explore Mombasa's cosmopolitan street food scene. Let's go. Jambo from beautiful Mombasa, Kenya. Today I'm right here on the water at a tea stall. Look at this, guys. It's incredible. So we have all the guys relaxing here. We're gonna have some chai, and then from here we're gonna walk out to this area where the fort is, and we're gonna eat some street food. Here we go. That was amazing. So people sit here, relax, get the breeze, beautiful view. We have some fishermen over there. And right here, we have the guy making some chai, right? So we're going to wait because he has two different types of chai, right? So he has milk chai and then he just has black, right? So that's tea. Chai is tea. What is the name, boss? Rai. Oh, sorry? Rai. Rai is a, is a tea guy. So I'm sure you can see everybody here streams here to have a taste of tea made by this guy called Rai. So this is little, little cups. This is for black tea? Black coffee. Black coffee. This is for black coffee. And uh, you can see the unique glasses they put the, the tea. And what's the food there? Yeah. These are cutlets. That's coconut. Wow. See coconut balls, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna try one of these. It's like a, ooh, a super sticky ball, right? Oh. What do you think? Like pure sugar, man. Delicious, sweet. Sugar, mm -hmm. sugar, sugar. <laughs> mm -hmm. It has a sweet tooth, so it loves sugar. And this is the cutlet. These are the cutlets. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Oh, it just breaks. Literally falls apart. Look, so it's a mix of, I guess, uh, some potatoes, right? Mixed with some onions, some herbs, and meat. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. So tasty. Mm -hmm. Crumbly. With the spices. All the spices. A lot of spices, I'm sure. A lot of spices. Reminds me of some cutlets I've had in India. In terms of those spices, right? Obviously the influence here, but wow, it's so great. delicious. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. I'll have more of that later. All right. So right now I need some chai, but... We had Biazi before, but... Oh, wait, look, look, look. Biazi. So that's uh, potatoes, right? I'm having that. Just for us? Oh, wow. I want to show you how he does it. <laughs> yeah, try it. Tass, let's try it. I'll try it, but like, what is it again? It's so potatoes with chutney. <laughs> oh, first of all, it's spicy. Why don't people tell me what stuff is spicy? Why everywhere in the world, apart from Greece, everywhere is spicy? Man. Like, I can survive like this, you know? It, it's tasty though. So, nice potatoes, and then we got some chutney. A lot of potatoes today. A lot of potatoes, right? This place is all about potatoes. Mm. Ginger. I can't taste the ginger. I think I've tasted it. Yeah. Though. Yeah. Nice chutney. Mm -hmm. A little spicy. Spicy. Yeah. That's right. right. A little spicy. But it's good. And they are snacks. Also, this is snacks, right? Yes. And they all pair with that. Right there. Tea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Okay, well, definitely eat more of this, right? While we wait for our tea. This is fantastic chutney. Mmm. It reminds me of coconut chutney, but with spice. Oh, wow. There's a sailboat. Oh, wow. Incredible. Here we go. You have coffee, I have chai. Have coffee, has chai. Mm. Oh, this is ginger chai. Ginger tea. Mm -hmm. This is coffee. Very, very strong coffee. Mm. Mm. Oh, I'll tell you. This is so good. No milk, just black tea with some ginger. No sugar. Pure, pure coffee. It's coffee and water. I think this has sugar for sure. Has sugar? I don't think this has sugar. No sugar here. No. This is like the most pungent tea of all time. Look at this. Look at the color. Nice and brown. His is like completely black, completely right? Black. I think I can feel it in my brain, actually. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, it's moving. Well, my friend, 
Thank you so much. I love the setting right here, right? So we're on the Indian Ocean, beautiful coastline. Yeah. You have all the houses, there's some people swimming across, we're some fishermen. Good time, mm -hmm. relaxing. There were some guys crossing the whole most of the other side. <laughs> you see how far they are? Wow. They crossed all the way across. Yeah, they like do. Like they went from here to there? Yeah. From here all the way to the other side. Man, I'm about to jump in that water too. With this heat here, yeah. that's super refreshing. <laughs> Maybe later in the trip I jump in. Yeah, you should. Then yeah. cross to the other side. Oh, this is amazing. I think we gotta try the other one though, right? Sure. Masala chai? Yeah, masala chai. For me? Hey. Asante. Asante. Woo! It's hot. Yes. Nothing like milk chai. Mm hmm. Oh, so frothy. Look at this. Nice. I don't think there's any cardamom or ginger in here though. It's more plain. Personally, oh, that burns. I like the ginger chai way more. That one's phenomenal. This is good, but I feel like this I can have it, you know, a lot of places, right? Oh, so cooling though, right? With the nice breeze, super nice setting. It was great. All right, you guys ready for some street food? I'm ready. Let's continue. Pleasure. Thank you so much, Sante. Awesome. Is it okay if I this because because? I'm sleeping, no? <laughs> yeah, Tassos can't take that. That's too, too strong for 5 p.m. Too strong. So like literally we just stay up all night. Ready? Yeah, we're ready to go. Street food? Let's go. Sanchez ni sana. Tumeshkuru kwa na wakati mwema. Tumeshkuru sana. Karibuni. Karibuni is welcome. It's welcome again. This is the old town. And you find old town is the first town to develop in Kenya dated from early 9th century and we find Old Town is managed by UNESCO since it is a World Heritage Site and that's why you see all buildings look similar unlike with the new town where we were where the spice market is and now you find most of the restoration of these buildings are being done by UNESCO and they have to maintain it so as not to interfere with the heritage So as we enter the Old Town you can see a beautiful street over here we have the fort is Fort Jesus, protected sea wall, right? And then over here we have like a kettle, right? So street trolleys and Mombasa's from uh, 1890 to 1990. That was the main transportation, right? Restored by UNESCO, amazing. The first club in Kenya since 1896 during the colonial time. And in 1963, when Queen Elizabeth came to Kenya, she spent a night here. So it is very famous with the British. How are you, Tony? I'm good, what about you? So what do you do here? Yeah, we do recycle. So everything we do here is recycled. Basically, we collect the plastic and then we do the art. It's called local art. It's called Joakali art. So we cut the plastics and then we create the clouds and then we use the stencil. The stencil basically is the cutout of the, the animals and then we use like the oil colors. Tony, there's some amazing stuff, guys. Love it. Look, this one is pretty epic. So for 800, so something like seven US dollars, you can get this, right? Really beautiful souvenir. So I'm gonna look around, maybe I buy something from him, right? Yeah, I mean, I think it's worth it. Beautiful, I love this other one too. This is super nice, right? So it's all recycled goods. It's all recycled and he uses stencil. I mean, I don't know, I'm not sure if I, if I, if I have space for this, you know? Yeah, My friend, we'll take two. It's okay. We'll take two. We Thank you, we appreciate you. Asante Sana. I love this guy. This is my guy. This is my best friend here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Asante. Well, when Asante I come back, we we'll go for a coffee. Okay, kahawa. Kahawa. Kahawa is coffee. Is like when you come back. Yeah, kahawa, kahawa. And right here we have the UNESCO World Heritage Fort of Jesus National Monument. I think it's closed, unfortunately. But look at this beautiful site here. Definitely got to visit. It's closed, right? It's closed. Yeah. So close at five. Down. At six, it is seven fifty-seven. Oh, it's seven. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but it's beautiful, right? So from there, you have great views of the whole city, right? Yep. Okay, so we're trying something right now called CAT, which means stimulant drug. Basically, it speeds up the uh, message between the brain and the body. I've never tried this before. I'm only doing it for camera. I'm just going to have a little taste. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. So take one piece. And then this is how you do it. So you chew the back of it. So you chew like this. Then you remove the top, okay?
So you remove the back of it and then you chew it. I won't lie to you. I feel something. Do you feel something? Mm hmm. Like it hits you pretty quickly, right? Rip off a piece. Here we go. It normally goes hand in hand with uh, coffee. Mm -hmm. You can take it with coffee. You can take it with energizer. You can take it with the groundnuts, which is really good. Whoa. I've never tried it before, but whoa. It's intense. And you were saying this is like the most addictive um, drug. drug in the world? Yes, actually, that's true. And the best ones actually come from Yemen. Mm -hmm. The host of Crothers. The best ones come from Yemen. The second one comes from Kenya. And then the third one is Ethiopia. Okay. So the country that have the best cuts. In Kenya, we export them mostly to Somalia. The Somalis, they love this a lot. Mm -hmm. So our main market in Kenya is Somalia. Wow. Yes. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, I was just reading about it. It's like throughout the Middle East, Saudi Arabia, basically the Arabian Peninsula, going yeah. to Somalia and to Kenya. I mean, it's good, to be honest with you. I'm done because I feel, I feel like, you know what it is? It's like, yeah. a, it's like a vibration yeah. between like brain and body. And it's intense. So I'm good, people, I'm good. People, when they're chewing it, you find people have a lot of them on one side and they use it with gum. So someone can chew it for a long time when they have all this pack of leaves. So some people put them this on is. one side. Whoa. My tongue feels weird too, right? I know. It's like a little numbing. But I think it's good. It's good, but yeah, it it's is a drug. Good, it is a drug. Yeah, it's a drug. <laughs> yeah, so you need to hit that one. The one you're throwing away. Yeah, I understand. Is it that strong? It's a weird feeling. I, mean, you, you I can tell why it's addictive. What you're throwing away, okay? What you have in your hand. Like this. Chew this. So you leave the rest. Not this? No. Uh, Shoot. Yep. Hand, hand with coffee. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's why you can see coffee point here. It's big, huh? People doing coffee here. So what street is this? Makadara Street. Makadara? Yeah. We have Makadara ground in the other side. Shkak. Shawarma. Oh! Look at the grouper! This is a rockfish. So we're next to the mouthwatering dishes. We have a nice fish here. So this is fish barbecue, huh? It's grilled fish. Grilled fish. What do you have there? Oh, look at that. Sambo. Mishkak. Oh, look at the Mishkak King. Hassan Mishkak King. What is this? It's actually beef. Beef? Yeah, beef. So what are you doing there? Hassan sugar cake Lemon. Ginger. Yeah. This guy's amazing. So he's making the mishkak and then he also has this machine to extract sugarcane juice. He added uh, lemon and also he added ginger, right? That's Inside. How, that's how you know it's gonna be good. That's, that's how you, you know. Ginger. Yeah, this is the same thing as India. India, you have this all over every street. Yeah. Every well, street. It's, for us. it's ready for us. It's ready, it's ready. Yeah. This is ready. Oh, that's tamarind, right? Mishkak. Mishkak. I'm ready. So, he threw some tamarind mishkak. sauce on top. Yeah. Let's do ready. this. Oh. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. So easy to eat this. Mm -hmm. So tasty, juicy. You can feel the tamarind juice. Mm -hmm. And the fat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's more fatty, right? Mm. Oh, so fatty. Look, look, guys. Look at the bottom here. It's like all tamarind juice. You just mix it in with some of this. I'm trying to improvise my. I can have those. Like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good with salad. It's good with salad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know the salad is like drenched in tamarind, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I feel some heat though, right? Feel it? Yeah. The, the spice is a bit. No, it's good though. Tamarind, they always mix it with a little bit of heat. You can't like even pick it up right here. I see. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Well, that was horrible. Whatever, let's keep eating, right? You know what you should do? Hand? 
Let's start our hand. Yeah. Yeah. Ready? I'm ready. This is perfect. So good. The tamarind. Same thing in Oman, very similar. Mm -hmm. Now we're going the delicious sugarcane juice. The best thing on planet Earth. Mix with some ginger and some lime. And some lime. Oh. oh. And this heat, so you refreshing. You need a lot of this every day. You need it every day, man. Yeah. I think I have more. You're going to have more? Yeah. We should get some more, though. We should. This cock is good. Mm. Super tasty, easy meal right here on the street. We're next to this hotel. Only for 20 cents to get one piece and you also give you some salad. 20 cents, so yeah. what do we get, like $2? Yeah. This dish? Plus no, this? we only got it for $1. Our meal for $1. All this? Yeah. $1? Yep. Yeah. No way. How many did you have? I think we had like five, no, 10. Oh yeah, $2. Fine, you're right. $2. What do you got? Mm -hmm. Wow, what a meal. That was like perfect. They hit the spot. Uh, so what I love about Mombasa is the influence of culture here, right? So you have Arab culture, and, yeah, and then Swahili, you, Swahili, Swahili and you have Indian. Yeah. So, so like we have Indian. everything so mixed. Mixture. The food is everywhere. We're going to rock all the way down there. We'll see what best we can get. So we're I mean, still rocking and rolling and rolling all the way. Everywhere you look, somebody's cooking something. Exactly. It's a grill. Yeah. And okay. people are on the mall. People are eating and eating and eating all the way. Yeah, that's one thing you have to know about this place is that like between like, let's say 2 p.m. and 5, people go inside, siesta, because it's so hot. Very similar to Middle East, right? You're right. My friend and I were in Iraq. Between like 2, two to and five, 6, nothing. nothing. You just stay indoors. Here in Mombasa, is actually close to that. So from this time, that's when people are more active, and that's why we have a lot of street food going on. Awesome. Continue? Yeah. Let's go. All let's, the best. See you then. See you, what do you mean? See you, you go. I'm saying here. Yeah. All right. Hey, Asante Sana. Asante Sana. That was super delicious. There was a lot of kids that were hungry, so we decided to buy them dinner. It's the least we could do, right? Uh, it's hard, it's hard. This is very difficult. All right, so let's walk through here. Let's see what else we see. Woo! Motorcycle. And here we go, way more street food, right? We got chicken tikka, amazing, look at this. This hasn't been cooked, this is all cooked, nice and charred. So like every few minutes, he just keeps putting more and more on as people order, right? Behind us we have shawarma. shawarma. Oh, I love this, man. This is good. How are you, Mambo, Mambo? You okay? Mazusala. Barca. Oh, Barca restaurant. Yeah, Barca restaurant. Mambo ni. Mambo ni. Supa. Supa. Mambo ni bien. Mambo ni ajab. Tell me. The president who Mambo just Ajab. left Uhuru Kenyatta. Yeah. Uh -huh. This was his famous restaurant whenever he came to Mombasa. No way. Very famous. Very famous. Yeah. What do we do? Shawarma? What do we do? I mean, this is so much. You have VIP. VIP seating. Yeah, see. What, what, what do we eat here? The shawarma? Shawarma, the insect. You go inside everything. Everything? Yeah. So he has pita here. He's going to cut a pita in half, yeah. and you're going to stuff it, right, with chicken yeah. shawarma. Chicken. Then I put salad, you see, and then I had some meat. Yeah. Like this one. Tomato sauce. Nice. Nice one. And then I had this one, mayonnaise. Can I have this one? Yeah. All right, so let me throw some chili okay. for mine. OK. A little bit of chili right there. Now I have to make it roll. OK, now it's ready to heat. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, that's how they say yes, hey, right? That's how you say yes, yes, hey, yes, hey. hey, hey. Hey, boss, hey, hey boss. boss. No, boss, no, hey. You say yes. Hey, hey, hey. Remember which is the spicy one. Remember yeah, is the spicy one. Spicy. This is awesome. This guy's amazing. What's your name, sir? What's your name? Mike. Mike? Yeah. Mike, thank you so much. Mike. No, it's Barca restaurant. Yeah, Barca restaurant. What's this dish? This is Swahili pizza. Swahili pizza? Yeah. No way. It's like a beef. With eggs. It's amazing. It's delicious. Shawarma, two days in a row. Shawarma. I mean, I can have this every day. Every day, every day, shawarma. Oh, yes. Mine has some chili. His doesn't. I'm good. I'm ready. It's heaven in a wrap. Mm. The guy is making the pizza behind us. Wow. 
how we make it. How much, my friend? How much do we owe you? It's a good deal. I love it. Super soft, Peter. Can't stop. Can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. I mean, this is amazing. I love it. We're out here, in the middle of the street, eating on the street. Tutus all behind us everywhere. I'm so happy. I'm happy here. You happy here? Look, it's doing it right here. That's the one thing we haven't tried. So the one thing we haven't tried here in Mombasa is the Swahili pizza. So that's basically just minced meat with some eggs, mixed in some dough, and they put it on the tawa. It looks phenomenal. Stuff. Can't, can't wait. And it's 250 and it cuts it into eight pieces. So it's good. I mean, good deal, right? It's a great deal. It's a great deal. Like we almost had this yesterday, if you remember. But we're stuffed. But we're stuffed. So thank God because we can try today. Yeah, yeah. This is awesome. Look at this. Nice, man. And finally, the Swahili pizza. pizza. I'm super excited for this one. Ready? Yeah, it's got a little piece, right? right. And then it comes with two different sauces. Tamarind for sweetness, chili, chili. for heat. I guess yeah. we'll go with tamarind, right? Sure. Oh, it's still super hot, right? A little bit. Oh, wow. It's good. Oh, ready. Oh. Mm -hmm. Tastes like a pizza. Mm -hmm. Is this is this lamb? Mm, it might yeah, be lamb. I, I think lamb? I think it's lamb. Nice sweet tamarind. Oh, but it's still super hot, right? Yeah, it is hot. Oh. Ah. What this? No. How do we get that? Hand? Hmm. I guess hand, right? I mean, but this is like mayonnaise, right? Yeah, mayo and sauce. This is good. It's good. Salad, mayo, you can feel the mayo, you can feel the, also the, the tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. It's so sweet, right? So I think we're gonna, we need to try this pizza with now, with this together, or what do we do? Or, we try yeah. with chili, right? All right. You want, how much do you want? Like a, a tiny bit? Yeah. Like a tiny? All right, fine. I go for a little more, guys. Today I almost died having a chili in the market. As well, I'm being okay. careful too, right? It's good. Not so spicy. Nice cake, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like a chili chutney. Mm -hmm. Not too spicy. Not too spicy. A little bit. I love this dish. Yeah. I'll say it hands down. This is probably my favorite dish of the day. So good. It reminds me of one of these Lebanese dishes, lamajin, which is like a. a you have it also in Turkey. You have it in Iraq, lamajin is like a pizza, but it's not closed, right? This is on the tawa. A little different. The other ones go into the oven. Love this. These were tassels, tassels. Eat away, man. Mm. I'm full. Dude, I'm, I'm stuffed. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. My man, my man. How you doing? Good, you? Yeah, I'm enjoying the hood. Yeah, that's awesome. You're like two days here, you, have, you already have best friends. What's happening here? That's how friendly people are here, right? This is good, huh? Ah, uh, yeah, it's good, it's good. Mm -hmm. I said before starting the dish, I was like, I'll, I'll only have one piece, but like... No, you need two, you need two, you need two. You know, the honest truth here is the Mombasa food is out of control. Definitely beats Nairobi. Sorry, Nairobi, but this is too good, right? I'm gonna eat the last one here. Mm -hmm. mm. Hey. Santa Sana. Okay. Santa Sana. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Love it. Love it. Hey, the best pizza. Mamboni. Mam hajab. Mamboni Hajab. Uh, Mamboni Hajab. Mamboni Hajab. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. Santa Sana. Santa Sana. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Right. Woo! So, my friend, you said the shawarma guy started it here? So, this little corner over here where the light is, that's where the first shawarma guy started in Mombasa. Before that, there was no shawarma. When was that? How long ago? I can't tell, but it's some years back. Like 50 years? Oh, Damascus. Uh, Damascus. So that was our night street food tour here in Mombasa at Makadara Street. We had a phenomenal time. We had Mishkak, 
We had sugar cane juice. We had the Swahili pizza. So freaking good. Guys, you have to do this. Start off at the cafe right there in the water. Make your way by the fort. Buy some souvenirs. Then make your way all the way down the street. Eat all that street food. So if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below which of these dishes do you want to eat. And after that, subscribe for more awesome travel content. See you in the next one. Let's go.